Hello, so we are going to talk about chelating agents in this particular video. Now, chelating agents, uh, as what is a chelating agent basically? They are used to chelate certain toxic uh, metals in the body. So, for example, if this metal is in a toxic amount in the body because it can cause a lot of problems, it can deposit in various tissues and cause issues with the, within the body. And let's say this is we have a chelating agent and you give a chelating agent like this. What it does is it is going to form a complex with the ion. So this, this is a chelating agent here and it forms a complex with the metal ion. So as such here be toxic though. This complex becomes non-toxic. Apart from becoming non-toxic, it becomes excretable by the kidneys. So, something which has to be excretable by the kidneys, ko kya hona padega? Yes, water soluble. Theke na? So, this becomes water soluble also. And when water soluble, ban jata hai, so it can be easily excreted by the kidneys, right? So, it is easily excreted the complex here you know with this thing so this is this chelating agent here and along with its toxic metals it can be easily excreted so this is how they help in removing the toxic metals so this is called as chelate uh, some call it chelating agent chelating agent however you call it so ye hai role of a chelating agent so kahan pe use karte heavy metal poisoning mein now, heavy metals, we have so much, uh, you know, so many heavy metals around us and they can be found in our environment, in our surroundings. It can be additives in food material, water contamination, so many places where they can be found. The important ones are that are, it is beyond the scope that I will talk about all of because uh, it is not, it's difficult to cover everything. So, I'll try to cover the best, which uh, most important. Hai. This is the arsenic. Copper, lead, iron. So we are not going to talk about mercury here, but yes, this is also present around us, and this can be toxicity. Ho sakti hai. You remember mercury ke uh, jo, uh, if you remember the manometers, just say blood pressure karte hai, pehle they used to be on mercury manometers, thermometers. They had mercury, you know, those uh, old thermometers in mercury. The problem kya hoti thi? Agar kisi ne usko zor se crush kar diya, to mercury could go inside you and all that. So mercury poisoning, okay? So ab isliye ab hum wo wale thermometers, they don't use that much of them. We try to use digital thermometers. That's the uh, mandate. Even you will find the manometers, jo the mercury wale, they have been replaced by the, the other one, the digital or the electronic, mano, you know, manometers because of this. Now, arsenic, copper, lead, iron, these are important metals and they are found around us a lot. Now, first let's go to the arsenic. Now, jo ye arsenic poisoning hoti hai. See, arsenic is present uh, around but uh, very less probability hoti hai ki iski toxicity uh, without any reason ho jai kisi ko because we don't, uh, food, uh, are, uh, you know, uh, products are not supposed to contain that much of an arsenic. They are not allowed, allow, permissible nahi hota itna. So, uski toxicity as such is rare. The problem when arsenic poisoning occurs is most of the times, it is usually homicidal. Somebody tries to poison somebody with arsenic, okay? So, usko uh, drink mein mila sakte hai, food mein mila sakte hai. So, that kind of uh, thing can occur with arsenic. Uh, you remember there was, if you uh, you know if you know, know about a monarch, there was a king called as Napoleon Bonaparte. So when Napoleon Bonaparte tha, he died very you know uh, he was bedridden for some time and then he died. So it was suspected, though there are still some queries, but it was said that he was poisoned with arsenic. Slow poisoning, slowly, thoda 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 amount of arsenic was put in his food or uh, in drink water. And he suffered because of that. And he died ultimately. So it has a lot of medical legal aspects. 
सो आर्सेनिक जो होती है पॉइजनिंग इट कैन यू इफ यू गिव अ हाई डोज देर कैन बी अक्यूट सिम्टम्स और देर कैन बी अगर स्लोली देर एंड देन देर कैन बी क्रॉनिक सिम्टम्स अक्यूट सिम्टम्स कैन बी रियली फेटल समटाइम्स एंड लाइफ थ्रेटनिंग एंड क्रॉनिक धीरे धीरे जाके फेटल हो सकता है सो अक्यूट में जो प्रेजेंटेशन होती है इट इज जस्ट लाइक कॉलरा लाइक देर इज पेन एपडमेन देर इज लूज टूल्स यू नो द ओनली डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग फीचर फ्रॉम कॉलरा वुड बी दैट द एबडोमिनल पेन इज क्वाइट हाई इन केस ऑफ आर्सेनिक पॉइजनिंग एंड दैट इज नॉट सीन इन कॉलरा नॉट मच पेन इज नॉट देर इन कॉलरा सो दैट इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट डिफरेंशियल डायग्नोसिस and in the on the you know if you see the nails of this there'll be a me line karke hoti hai iski nail mein is patient ke nail mein ek line si hoti hai me line so that you can say that it's an arsenic poison and obviously you will do the blood tests and everything and you'll find we suspect a heavy metal up uh, levels you start detecting in the laboratories and that's how you come to know what is the level of arsenic in the blood and you'll come to know is having the arsenic poisoning जो क्रॉनिक है देर आर सो मेनी प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ क्रॉनिक देर बी पिगमेंटेशन ऑन इज बैक ठीक है मेलेनोसिस डार्क डार्क पैचेज जैसे ये सपोज दिस इज द बैक ऑफ द पर्सन सो ही डिवेलप सम डार्क पैचेज सो डार्क पैचेज बिकॉज ऑफ इंक्रीज मिलेन सो यू नो मेलेनोसिस जैसे हम कहते हैं इंक्रीज पिगमेंटेशन देन देर इज अ पिक्यूलियर लाइक हाइपर कैरेटोसिस ऑफ स्किन ऑफ स्पेशली पाम्स and soles तो जो उसके palms होते हैं soles होते हैं you'll see uh, you know they are like the skin has become really dry और वो peel off होनी शुरू होती है जैसे जैसे skin निकल रही होती है वैसे kind of picture आता है इसमें and there are certain other features these are most prominent so the treatment for arsenic poisoning is apart from the supportive treatment जो आप दोगे patient suffering from arsenic poisoning you would give a specific से later for this कि जो arsenic को निकाल के बाहर कर दे आपकी body से तो दैट चिलेटा विच इज यूज फॉर मैनेजमेंट ऑफ आर्सेनिक पॉइजनिंग इज कॉल्ड एज बाल और द फुल फॉर्म इज ब्रिटिश एंटी लेवेसाइड सो दिस इज द फार्माकोलॉजिकल ट्रीटमेंट और दिस इज द चिलेटिंग एजेंट दैट इज यूज फॉर मैनेजमेंट ऑफ आर्सेनिक पॉइजनिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम आर्सेनिक पॉइजनिंग इट इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर अदर पॉइजनिंग So if you remember a mnemonic as balgam, ठीक है balgam, balgam, the sputum that you call in Hindi balgam. So it can also be used for bismuth poisoning. A is for arsenic. L is for lead. G is for gold and mercury. ठीक है mercury poisoning. So it can be used for these poisonings also. But what is important to remember is किस heavy metal poisoning में इसको we should not use contraindications. The contraindication, the exception here is important. It is contraindicated in iron poisoning and in the cadmium. Why? Because if you remember this chelator complex जो ये form करेगा with iron or cadmium. ये कॉम्प्लेक्स इट वॉज सपोज टू बी नॉन टॉक्सिक बट इस केस में जो कॉम्प्लेक्स इसके साथ ये फॉर्म करेगा दैट टर्न आउट टू बी टॉक्सिक सो दैट डज मोर हार्म दैन गुड पर्पज क्या हुआ अगर आपने वो भी खुद टॉक्सिक है और जो चिलेटर जो कॉम्प्लेक्स है वो भी टॉक्सिक है सो देर फोर इट शुड नॉट बी यूज इन दीज टू काइंड ऑफ पॉइसन दैट्स वॉट यू शुड नो अबाउट ब्रिटिश एंटी लेवसाइड यूज इन ऑल दीज ऑल्सो and it is contraindic this contraindication please remember it's very very important right let's come to the next heavy metal that is copper let's do something about copper now copper ki kya hoti hai toxicity it can occur you know there is uh, either there is some toxicity because it is present in the environment in the food or that kind of you know uh, as a part of some adulterant in certain uh, food supplements or something which is you know all these uh, various food products so the toxicity can occur because of that okay that is environmental or the food related so the patient will have same symptoms abdominal pain nausea vomiting the only thing is jo uske stools hote hain they are discolored bluish green color and yes definitely when you the levels of copper in blood they'll be high the other uh, 
kind of uh, you know uh, copper toxicity or copper uh, let's say enhanced levels of copper in the blood is seen in a genetic condition called as wilson's disease wilson's disease so what happens in wilson's disease so normally when you know you consume uh, copper mm, let's take this one so let's say this is copper that you have consumed hamari body mein ek natural chelator hai that is called as ceruloplasmin it is called as ceruloplasmin theek hai so it is a natural chelator so what it does is it will take away the copper theek hai so this is here and it will form a complex with copper and that the role as serves it mainly gets excreted in the urine or in the feces and that's how no excess copper is remaining in the body but what happens in wilson's disease there is a deficiency so there is a deficiency or absence of this celluloplasmin so when there is no celluloplasmin present this copper is not going to go out of the body now so this copper what it does it it goes and attacks various organs so it will go to the various organs attack it and it will produce havoc in the body see kharab kar dega sab jahan jahan jayega wahan par deposit hona shuru ho jayega it will start getting to deposit it in all those organs so uh, what are the various it can present in various organs and present accordingly so jo typical uh, diagnostic signs hain iske ek first is in the eye ठीक है इन द पेरिफ्री ऑफ द कॉर्निया सो लेट्स से दिस इज हियर एंड इट फॉर्म देयर इज अ रिंग व्हिच इज फॉर्म यहां पे ठीक है सो के एफ काइसर फ्रेशर रिंग ठीक है सो काइसर फ्रेशर रिंग द सेकंड इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गन टू इफेक्ट इज लिवर इट कैन कॉज लिवर द लिवर बिकम्स वेरी नोड्यूलर बड़ा अजीब सा इट स्टार्ट्स लुकिंग यू नो नॉड्यूलर काइंड ऑफ फ्लेवर बड़ा खराब सा लेवर की शक्ल लगने लगती है नॉड्यूलर काइंड ऑफ फ्लेवर इज देयर देन सी एन एस है किडनीज है एनी वेयर इट कैन यू नो अटैक बट दिस इज द मेन इशू दीज आर द मेन टू ऑर्गन दैट आर गोइंग टू बी इफेक्टेड नाउ वेन यू ट्रीट दीज दीज कंडीशन यू हैव टू गिव द सेम ड्रग दैट इज द चिलेटर दैट यू गिव सो वॉट इज द चिलेटर दैट यू गिव इन आइदर ऑफ द इशूज सो द ट्रीटमेंट इज विद a chelating agent and that is here d pencila me so this d pencila me new so do you remember humne aur kahan kiya hai d pencila me if you remember where else have we done this think yes we have done it in rheumatoid arthritis disease modifying drugs right so it is also used there but currently uh we have better drugs available and so it is not a preferred drug over there so this is used to treat copper toxicity right and this is also used to treat wilson's disease ye to important indications hai iski aur bhi ek indication important hai it is called as cysteine urea stones are formed in the urine of cysteine stones are formed to ye cysteine ko bhi लेट करेगा ठीक है सो वॉट इट डज इज दिस वॉज द दिस वॉज द लेट्स इन आई मेक अ किलेटर दिस वॉज सेलो प्लाजमेन विल ट्राई टू मेक अ चिलेटर सो लेट्स से दिस इज द चिलेटर और दिस इज अ डीप पेंसिल अमीन एंड इट विल टेक अवे सिस्टीन विद इट एंड इट विल एक्सेस जो सिस्टीन है विच इज लीडिंग टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ स्टोन्स it will be kidney stones it will be removed from the body that's the role of deep penicillin so it is used in copper toxicity it is used in wilson's disease it is used in cystine urea there is some another use which is said it is used in scleroderma now demand is not a major use anymore but it was it is in, it is when you write the drugs for demand it is written but it is not currently used uh, for the this particular thing right all right so uh this was about the copper toxicity next we come to the lead toxicity theek hai lead so lead poisoning is also very common uh, in the sense that you know 
इफ यू रिमेंबर और यू नो द कॉमन सोर्सेज फूड सप्लीमेंट्स तो फूड वगैरह तो है देन पेंट जो हम यू नो यू पेंट योर वॉल्स सो दे कंटेन अ लॉट ऑफ लेड एंड यू नो लॉट ऑफ टॉक्सिटी आकर्ड इन चिल्ड्रन एंड पीपल सो यूल सी नाउ वेरियस पेंट्स दे क्लेम दैट इट इज लेड फ्री ठीक है एंड ऑल दैट दोज काइंड ऑफ क्लेम्स आर मेड्स बिकॉज लेड इज इट कैन बी फाउंड अराउंड यू गैन एनवायरमेंटल जिसम कहते हैं टॉक्सन है ठीक है सो द लेड पेंट्स एंड एवरी थिंग नाउ दे आर लेस यूज एज सच सो लेट पॉइजनिंग के भी सिमिलर सिम्टम्स होते हैं योर एबडामल क्रैम्प्स हैं पेन है ठीक है एंड द पेशेंट हैज स्टूल्स ऑल दोज काइंड ऑफ सिम्टम्स पेशेंट रिप्रेजेंट टू यू विद एंड हाउ विल यू डायग्नोज द लेड ओवर डोज और लेड टॉक्सिटी अगेन यू डू द ब्लड लेवल्स यूरिन लेवल्स ऑफ लेड एंड यू विल सी इफ द लेवल्स आर अबव नॉर्मल और नो इफ देर इन अयर रेंज दैट्स हाउ यू डिटेक्ट लेड टॉक्सिसिटी सो uh the drug used for management of lead toxicity the the most important chelating agent though we have already said it can be used bile can also be used if we cannot use uh, you know this particular agent but the primary uh, chelating agent we use is calcium sodium edta disodium edta theek okay? hai that is what we use calcium disodium edta now पहले हमारे पास द ड्रग्स विच वी हैड इट वॉज नॉट कैल्शियम सोडियम ई डी पहले से वी इनिशियली हैड ओनली डाई सोडियम ई डी टी एंड दैट यूज टू चिलेट लेड बट नॉट ओनली लेड इट ऑल्सो यूज टू टेक अवे कैल्शियम फ्रॉम योर बॉडी बिकॉज क्या करता था ये कैल्शियम आपकी बॉडी से साथ में ले लेता था अलॉन्ग विद द लेड सो Because when patients used to be given sodium, disodium EDT only with lead, they developed hypocalcemia because it used to chelate even calcium, and this was evident. Pat patient had tetany. Okay, so muscle contractions to the because it involved in the muscle contractions, so they had tetany. So now, no longer use. the new formulations now they added calcium so with calcium sodium disodium edta it became calcium disodium edta so now it had calcium on its own so there was no way it was going to take away calcium from the body and no hypocalcemia no tetany so this is the very good drug used for lead poisoning agar isko kisi chance se nahi use kar sakte then you can try bile But this is a primary drug used for this poisoning. Then uh, it can also be used again for other poisonings. It can be used for you know uh, mercury poisoning or arsenic poisoning. हम वहाँ पे भी use कर सकते हैं. But this is a primary indication that is a lead poisoning. And this drug cannot be absorbed by oral route, so it has to be given by the IV route. That is how it has to be given till the levels are below the. Uh, or if they are under control, the levels. Another thing about this drug, you should remember that when you give this drug, you have to make the urine alkaline, because क्या करता है ये acidic urine में it can dissociate this complex जो lead के साथ है, and that lead can damage the kidneys. So it should always be given. Though. So if the urine is made more alkaline, then it won't be able to dissociate and not cause damage to the kidneys, right? so this is important about the lead poisoning now coming to the last heavy metal which is the iron and you know iron uh, is used it is obviously present in lot of food and it is also given as supplements when people suffer from anemia okay iron deficiency especially you try to give it as a supplement so the toxicity which can occur with iron if it is acute or it can be chronic acute usually kaise hoti hai ki if you know patients present bachcho mein it's in children that they consume overdose of the iron uh, jo apne suspension ya syrups the and that's an overdose so it can be accidental in them while in adults if they consume many tablets together of iron it can be suicidal in them for uh, you know 20 30 tablets together they've consumed supposed to have one tablet a day and they consume lot of tablets and that is suicidal so that can be another way how by which the patient will present 
Now, chronic toxicity uh, is seen in those people who are given multiple blood transfusion. So, for example, जो thalassemia के patients होते हैं, ठीक है? They have to be given uh, multiple blood transfusions throughout their life. तो जब multiple blood transfusions देंगे, तो जो iron है, वो उनमें overload होता रहेगा. That is inevitable. That is comes with it. So you need to treat this because you know that there is there is going to be overload. So आप पहले से ही साथ में भी आप एक iron chelator इनको साथ में देते हो. अब कौन से हमारे पास iron chelators हैं? The first one is des ferrioxamine and des ferripyro. This one is IV and this one is oral. So definitely, जहाँ पे acute toxicity, accidental suicidal poisoning है, you cannot wait to give any oral drug. So you have to give IV drug. Emergency condition है, that's the only thing. Chronic में you have an option that you can give oral drug. Though it is not as efficacious as desferioxamine, but you patient can. If you see the results are good in these patients when you give oral drug, you can continue. But if you find that it's not able to take care of the iron overload, then you can switch on to the IV option. So this is about these heavy metals job ko pooch te hai. Kaun si kis mein kaam aati hai. And uh, iron ke, another problem with iron is sometimes it's key allergic reactions ho sakte hai. Because of iron itself, it causes histamine release and these allergic reactions. So these are the important chelating agents that are used for various metal poisoning. So what, how many chelating agents we have done, the important ones. Let's see, the first one that we did was British anti-leucide of Baal and it is used to manage all these poisonings. Okay, but please remember the exceptions, very important for this. For copper, we use d -pencilamine. And for copper toxicity, Wilson disease, cystic neuro sub may any drug you do here. Okay. And this drug can also lead to the problem with the deep pencil amine. It can cause some, uh, you know, the renal toxicity, but reversible. Hai. Once you stop the drug, then there is no problem. Lead ke liye, we have calcium sodium diuretate. Remember, not only sodium diuretate. We use calcium sodium diuretate. Uh, so, di sorry, calcium disodium erite so that there is no problem of hypocalcemia in the patients. Iron toxicity ke liye, अगर आपको quick reaction चाहिए, IV is desferioxamine, orally slow acting is deferipyro. So with this we come to the end of this lecture. So take care, study hard in case you have any problems. You can always, always refer to my notes or you know, um, ask me or uh, send me an email or something and we can discuss. So till then, study hard, take care. Thank you so much.